What is up everybody? Dan Dan the Fireman here. What? This is a vlog, whatever. I'm actually trying to find cycle gear. Uh, I, well, I gotta hit the brakes. Oh, I don't like hitting the brakes. There's a lot of people riding out. Um, there's guys up here. Cool. Um, I'm on my way to cycle gear. I want to try out the Bellstar MIPS if they have the MIPS, but if not, I'll just try the Bellstar and I'll try the Shoei 1200. Wow, there's a lot of people. There's two riders. This guy's right here on with a passenger. That's awesome. Um, it's a nice day to ride. It's Sunday. So you guys are seeing this a little bit later. <laughs> but I'm going to try them out because I, I want to order them online or I might just buy it here. Um, not right now because it's going to be kind of hard to hold a helmet on the bike with me. I guess I could do it. Whatever. Anyways, we're going to go try them on and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably order it from GetLowered.com, Get Lowered Cycles and all that stuff. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. But I want to get the one that fits the best, feels the best because um, they're both Snell 2015 rated. I just like the MIPS, the uh, little system that they have going on in there, and just a little bit more of a protection, I believe, from rotational forces, because that is huge when it comes to TBIs, and I talked about that in my TBI video. But we're, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go check out these helmets. All right, we are back. I'm gonna leave the visor down, or up, so we can actually talk, because it gets all muffled when I put it down. Just got out of cycle gear. Um, I didn't record very much inside. Actually, I didn't record anything. I recorded maybe uh, like a 10 second thing, but I tried on a few helmets. I tried on the Bell Qualifier uh, DLX, Deluxe, whatever that's called. And then I tried, um, they didn't have a Bell Star in my size. They had a small and I couldn't even get it on. But I was talking to the guy there and he was mentioning how they're like the same size, intermittent oval. Um, they'll fit the same. So I kind of got that feeling. So, but the Qualifier and the Bell Star, um, he didn't have the MIPS and that's kind of what I wanted to try on He didn't have the MIPS. They didn't have the MIPS whatever and I couldn't feel the quality difference between the Bell Star and the Bell Qualifier because I couldn't You know try it on. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Oh, yeah We got a KLR right here. KLR 650 I always love those things. I miss mine. All right, let's get going home and we can continue talking. All right, I don't like, let's just get out of here. I don't like this area. Too much construction, you can get, get hit pretty easily. All right, so I tried on, like I said, the Bell Qualifier and they had the uh, Bell Star. It, they looked cool, they just, I mean, online, everything looks so much cooler. You know what I mean? So I tried on the showies. They had a ton of showies. I didn't try on any Arise. I didn't try on any Bilts. I tried on the Simpson. Um, I forgot exactly what it is. I will annotate that. But that's the one that I would have gotten if it was the Simpson. So anyways, I first tried on the, the Showy RF1200. And it was easy as hell to get it on. And easy as hell to get it off. And it was comfy. It's extremely comfy. It was great. I loved it. But what I noticed, and, I, and uh, I'm talking to Blockhead, um, Blockhead from Blockhead Moto, his YouTube channel, and we're all part of like his group chat, Bike and Bird, Blockhead, and Moto Noob Rider, and we're just chit chatting. And, and I told him that I wanted to get the RF1200, or possibly get the RF1200, and he's like, I just got one. And he was letting me know that the chin guard, um, it kind of it messes with you. I'm so used to the small chin guard, and I've been kind of, uh, um, what's the word, um, boiled. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> kind of spoiled with the fact that it's so small I could see everything he was letting me know that hey the uh, chin guard and the way it's all set up it's like you it's meant for like a tuck so you're like this and more like a sport bike rider and you can that's how you see you see like this sorry I got like a burp wanting to come out let's go let's turn right There's plenty of room right here boom boom so he was mentioning how you kind of have to be tucked. It's more for a sport bike rider because you're like this, and I'm not like that anymore. If I was cafe'd, it would be perfect because I'm still like this as a cafe racer, but I'm not. I'm more upright. So I tried on the RF1200 in the store, and the guy, the salesperson, he was uh, letting me know everything, and he was like, he's like, you know, the chin guard. As soon as he said that, I was like, oh, there it is. And I could, like, it was so big, and it's like I couldn't see it. I had to do this to look down. So I'm, I would have to constantly do this to see my gauge, to see basically the road right in front of me, because it'd be blocked off. I was like, damn it. It's such a comfy helmet. 
I heard such great reviews on it, but it's like that was gonna mess with me as an upright rider. So guys, if you're looking for the RF1200 as an upright rider, that might be something that you're not gonna like. Now, he mentioned that I should try on this other helmet. And I'm gonna kinda, kinda, I don't know. I love the helmet. He's, it was the uh, Shoei X14. The Shoei X14, man, it was, it felt like a little bit comfier, which was insane because the, the RF1200 was like insanely comfy, but it was comfier. I can see, he was mentioning how this is more for an upright position, so I can actually see, I didn't have to do this the whole time. And the vents, how they were designed, um, it's so you're upright, so you get more airflow. And then you got like airflow through the cheek pads, the front um, vent, it doesn't hit you in the face. It goes through the frame into the cheek pads and cools off her ears. How freaking insane is that? I was like, man, this is a great helmet. It looks awesome. I, it, I saw that I was able to probably put a GoPro on the front, so I didn't have to mess around too much with that kind of stuff. I'm thinking all these things. And then I looked at the price tag. It's like 700 bucks. I mean, with tax and everything, it's be like almost close to 800 bucks. I'm like, holy crap. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, it's like, you know what, this is my head, this is, I have to be happy with this for the next five years. You know, I'm thinking long-term investment. I had this helmet for, I think it's gonna be five years now. It's gonna be, no, not, no, I take that back. It's gonna be like four years. It's, I don't know, I'm bad with math. Anyways, I've had this helmet for a very long time. I put so many miles on this helmet. If I spend 700 bucks on, a, on the X14, I think, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure, I'm going to do more thinking about it, but I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to get my money's worth out of it. For as much as I do, for how quiet it is, it comes with a uh, chin, um, I don't even know these, these, these <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know the terms for it because I'm just so used to the bare bones bullet. But it comes with like uh, the, the pin lock system, so um, anti-fog, and because with the, when I tried on the Simpson, as soon as I breathed, it fogged up. Uh, with with the showies it didn't fog up at all so it has the pin lock system uh, i'll talk more about that if i get the helmet um what's up buddy uh, and then uh i <laughs> i like lost my train of thought and then it, it had, like the the visor like locked into place which is great and then it came with like a, a nose guard um, and then like a chin guard for like wind deflection and a bunch of stuff and it's supposed to be super quiet So that's something I'm excited for because that's gonna increase the audio quality for when I talk to you guys So I'm just thinking of all these things, but I'm really like infatuated with the uh, Shoei X14. It looks like a great helmet um, It felt great. It was amazing um, the, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't like the RF1200 very much uh, it's, it's still a great helmet still amazing helmet both of them are Snell 2015 it's just that you know it for for the for my upright position it wasn't going to work for me because i would literally have to do this in order to see the whole time and like that will kill my neck or i'd have to tuck in and that would just completely you know it, it defeats the purpose if i was still cafe it would work perfectly but it but that's not the case so when it came to visors i mean it's going to be costing a little bit more i mean it's like seven dollar helmet seven hundred dollar helmet but i want to get the chromatic shield and I'm going to be popping up my pictures that I took. It's not as chromatic as this shield, but you cannot see in. Uh, you can see in a little bit when it comes to this uh, shield, but it was insane how quick he changed out the shields for me. And I'm going to put the little video that I made right now. Anytime. Damn, that's quick. <laughs> so he changed the shields out like super quick and I mean I don't know it was just I'm like gushing all over this x14 I just want you guys to kind of see what <laughs> what I what I'm liking uh, it doesn't have the mips um, I was I was really kind of disappointed that I couldn't try that out um, but I was just really really fascinated with the x14 and the showy itself the showy you guys the quality of showies compared to just the bell bullet and even the bell star that they had there it's like there's no there's really no comparison there's really no comparison i don't know that's my take on that um let me know what you guys think but check out uh blockhead moto he actually um he's doing an unboxing or he did an unboxing i don't know when this is going to play out but he's got that helmet he's got the rf 1200 for when he rides his uh his sport bike not for when he rides his dyna but for when he rides his sport bike 
Um, um, go ahead and check him out. Link in the description to his channel. He has some really cool stuff sometimes. And bye guy that got up next to me. And uh, I'll see you guys later.